Shalom and welcome to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul, your Biblical Hebrew podcast. Shalom and welcome to our Biblical Hebrew podcast. What is the relation between Abel, Cain, Rachel and Leah? Let's look into those names, the value, the relation between them, the story that rolls behind those names, though, in terms of a biblical story, there is a distance of 21 generations between them. The value of Abel, in Hebrew, Hevel, is 37. The value of the name Cain, in English Cain, is 160. Now, let's look into the value of the other two names, Rachel and Leah. The value of Rachel is 238. The value of Leah is 36. At first glance, we can see that the value of Leah, which is 36, and the value of Abel, Hevel in Hebrew, are very close. Since Leah is 36 and Abel is 37, there's only one between them. And the smaller of the value of the name is, the closer is the name to the source. So we see already from the names that Leah, Leah, is closer or associated with Abel. Now let's try and see what is the relation between Rachel and Cain. We said that the value of Rachel is 238. The value of Cain is 160. What happens when we subtract the value of Cain, 160, from the value of Rachel, 238? And the answer is 78. 78 is the value of the Hebrew word for Bread, lechem, lechem, bread has the value of 78. Now, the question is, why after her first son was born, Joseph, she immediately asked for another son? In Hebrew, Yosef Hashem li ben Acher. Why is this urge to ask immediately another one? What is going on here? To answer this question, we have to look into the names of Cain and Joseph. The value of the name Cain is 160. The value of the name Joseph is 156. There's only four between them. The four letters of the Tetragrammaton. After after Cain killed Abel, there is a discussion between him and his conscious, the Tetragrammaton. And after this conversation, in Genesis 4, the Bible says, Vayetze Cain milifne Hashem. Cain is going out of the four letters of the Tetragrammaton. 160 minus for this is Joseph 156. Rachel is aware of the fact that Joseph is an aspect of Cain. Even though in terms of the biblical story there is a distance of 21 generations. She's aware of that. The sages say even deeper. The sages say that Rachel is an aspect of Eve, and while she is giving birth to Joseph, being aware that she is uh, 
an aspect of Eve, and Joseph is an aspect of Cain, she immediately asks for another son. Yosef Hashem li ben acher. The Lord will add me. Add in English A-D, like Anno Domini. 1-4. Yosef Hashem li ben acher. The Lord shall add me another son. Rabbi Moshe Chaim Lutzato says something very interesting. He says that while she was asking for another son, she was asking for a child or a son that represents the hidden aspect of life. She was aware of the fact that Joseph will go to the world and Joseph is a manifestation of the tree of knowledge. And she wanted another son that is a manifestation or a presentation or a reflection of the tree of life. This is why also the distance between her name, Rachel, 238, and the name of Cain, 160, is 78, the value of bread in Hebrew, lechem, for lechem, 78, is three times the tetragrammaton. Three is a number that represents the spirit. She asks for a child that will represent the spirit. Interestingly, when they're coming back from her father Laban towards the land, the land of Canaan, while they approaching Bethlehem, the city of Bethlehem, the house of bread, she gives birth to her other son. Later on, his father will name him Benjamin, Benjamin, the son of the right side. But the question remains the same. Why does Rachel struggle so hard and in a way pays in her life to give birth to another son? And what this request Manifest in each and every one of us. The answer is simple. When the tree of life, and this is what you wanted, when the tree of life is being born or just there, the tree of knowledge disappears. This is why she is dying on the way to bed. Lechem. Another aspect that we see in the relation between Joseph and Cain. Cain was a man, a farmer, that is plowing the land. When we plow the land, we are making straight lines into the land into the ground that later we can sow seed inside. Those strips in the ground later on are being reflected in the special garment that Jacob makes for his beloved son, Joseph. Those are just a few points to think of. And another one, the value of the name Joseph is 156. 156 is six times the tetragrammaton. Six times the tetragrammaton six, in this case, is a dual number, like the six days of the week. And Rachel is aware of that. This is why she's asking for 
another son. And the difference between them, between her name and the name of Cain, is Lechem 78, because 78 is three times tetragrammaton, the value of the spirit. She asks for a child that will that will manifest the spirit of the tree of life this is why she she's on the way to bet lechem going back to luzzato he says that rachel in her request to give birth to another son she meant david this was our little conversation for today. We wish you a beautiful day and wonderful week. Thank you for listening to Bible Stories as Blueprints of the Soul. We hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you have any questions, comments, or would like to hear more about a certain topic, just write us an email to hebrew at learnoutlife.com. We are always happy to hear from you. For more episodes, videos, and articles like this, please visit our website at hebrew.learnoutlife.com. We also would like to invite you to join our live classes. Just search for Online College of Biblical Hebrew on Facebook and start learning now with students from all over the world. Kultuv and Shalom.